For what? For what? To prove to all these other bitches that you're the best bitch? Nigga, I'm the worst bitch. Chanel and welcome okay and if you do not know what we do over here we tell stories your story my stories nothing's off limits and if you want to it would be great like share subscribe and be a part of the gang that is good okay so let's get into this video all right this is just a story time the only reason why I'm telling this story <laughs> It's a little bit close. Alright, it's a little bit close to home. And the only reason why I'm really telling this story right now is because I see this girl on, like, Instagram. And she's going through it. But the only reason why she's going through it, I warned her. I warned her. And she did not heed to my warning. She thought I was trying to take her man. Like, so now I'm just like, you know what? I don't know what to say. Because I don't... I don't want to sound fucked up. So I just... I don't say anything. I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing at all. So, this goes back to a story that I told probably like two years ago. Of this dude who... He asked me for money. I'm going to link the story below. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm going to link the story below. Because this is like, this is kind of like a continuation. Like, call it an update if you will. Okay? So, this guy asked me for money, right? He got kids, right? He has children. He got baby mamas. He got child support situations going on. <sighs> okay. So... A brief we just gonna brief it back I was not talking to this dude he was trying to like talk to me he was trying to date me but ooh, I was not interested I wasn't interested right because I already knew like what he had going on let me tell you something ladies if you know what a nigga got going on in his life and it's nothing nothing positive why would you insert yourself that's always the question that I have why would you insert yourself into this man's life? Could somebody answer that for me? I need some answers. I really need some answers. Good to need answer. I need somebody to call me and tell me, so why would you do that? Why would you do that? Anyway, so he got child support issues. He can't pay none of his bills. He don't got no job. One bugger story, one bugger foolishness. And one day he asked me if I could pay a bill for him and I just flat out told him fuck no. Okay? And he got mad at me. So then when he seen that I was dating somebody else, he got more mad at me. And he came to me and he was like, oh, you acting like, oh, I'm not good enough for you. This is not, this is not an act, sweetie. You're not good enough to be with me because I'm a different type of woman. First of all, one, I don't pay niggas bills. I'm not going to be with a man who cannot sustain his own life. You can't even sustain life for the children you've created. Why would I take my good self and enter your life for what? This is, what am I good at? No, I don't got kids. I don't have any children. I don't want to, I'm not going to deal with a man who has children. And on top of that, you got child support. And on top of that, you have more than one child. It's a big no for me. It's a big no for me. Also, you don't have no job. It's a, it's a no for me. It's a no for me. It's not giving. And it never gave. Not for good, not for a good guy like me. It's not, no. Just no, just no, okay. So now, because I let him know, like, listen, it's a no, and it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen today, it's not gonna happen tomorrow, it's not gonna happen next week, next year, it's not going to happen. You get your shit together, yeah, it's just not gonna happen. I'm not even gonna say, oh, get your shit together, then come call me, then come find me. No, no, no. Mm -mm -mm. I, I still don't want. I still wouldn't deal with it for the simple fact that he has a lot of baby mama drama, and I'm just not with that. I don't like. I 
don't like to enter no situation with a dude and it already starts off dramatic. Like, mm -mm. I don't like it when dudes complain about their baby mom. I don't want to, I just don't. Like, I feel like if she, listen, I don't even care. Real shit, I don't care. I feel like you, you're you somebody's baby father and your baby mother's always complaining. Just fix it. Do whatever you feel. What Do whatever is possible, humanly possible, for you guys to cohabit and just be cordial and just have a healthy co-parenting situation. I don't want to hear you complain about a woman that you literally got pregnant. Like, you got her pregnant willingly consensually i don't don't complain to me that's how i see it mm -mm. don't complain don't bring your ish don't bring your problems to me bring it to the lord of god pray about it that's what i said pray about it i can't fix it call on the lord and savior I, mm -mm. nah we ain't doing that don't mm -mm. no thank you anyway so, I feel like I was just preaching. <laughs> anyway, so, this girl, I don't know her too well, but we were getting a little bit acquainted, right? So, he starts talking to her. Mind you, I tried to warn sis real, real early, but she took it as disrespect. She took it as me hating. She took it as me trying to be with him i started getting jealous because he started talking to her and i miss my opportunity when i had the chance what opportunity says there is no opportunity there's no opportunity there's nothing. And I try to let you know that. But you insisted to be with that man. So I let it be. Well, I, I've, given, I've given her so many warnings. I literally told her like, yo, he does not have a job. He has baby mom issues. He has child support that he has not paid. He has multiple issues in, including there's other women that is involved with him which i don't understand how these bitches giving him pussy and this nigga don't work nowhere like he don't do shit what nah like i just i couldn't i could not wrap my head around it and i just did not understand it okay Y'all probably thinking, what the hell are you doing around this man? Y'all gotta go watch the video that's gonna be linked below. That's gonna tie this video together, okay? I can't get back into that. But anyway, it just baffled the fuck out of me. So now, I'm, I say to this girl, like, he don't got no money. He don't got this. He don't got that. He don't have nothing, right? She don't give a shit. She does not care about nothing I said to her. I remember this one day, he asked me for money. He asked me for money. This nigga asked me for like $200. I don't remember. It, but it was in the hundreds. I cussed this motherfucker out. Cuss him, cuss him, cuss him, cuss him, cuss him, bad, bad. And then he was like, oh, you're not down. You're not ready to ride. You're not ready to, you're not ready to hold nothing down. Da, 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 da. I, I don't. I tell a nigga right now, I'm not riding. I'm not dying. I'm not holding nothing, okay? I'm not riding, I'm not dying, I'm not holding nothing down, nigga, no. I'm not doing that. I don't understand why women do it. Let me tell you something. I don't, why do, black women are conditioned to do stuff like that, and I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't see that as good. Like, you, for you to play this position like you're, you more down for him than anybody else. You gonna hold it down more than anybody else. He don't got no money, you gonna pay for it. You gonna do what? You gonna break your back. You He don't got no job, you gonna go to work. He don't got nothing, you gonna... He got bills up to his... Up to the freaking ceiling, you gonna help him pay it. He got child support payments. Bitches is cussing. His baby mother is cussing him out. Other bitches is cussing him out. You gonna fight them battles. For what? For what? To prove to all these other bitches that you're the best bitch? Nigga... 
I'm the worst bitch, okay? I'd rather be the worst bitch. I will be your worst nightmare, okay? Because you ain't getting no pussy up out of me. And no, you don't get no date. You don't get nothing. You don't get no date, no bills, no money, no nothing. You're not getting nothing. It's not going, it's not, it's not adding up, sis. It's not clicking. What's not clicking, bitch? Like, are you crazy? Mm -mm, nah, not good guy like me. I don't do them. I don't play them games. So now, he didn't get the money from me, but he got the money from her. And on top of that, it was one day he needed a babysitter. And this mother called me and was like, yo, do you mind, you know, babysitting my son? I'm like... I do mind. I do mind. He was like, yo, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Yo, he really loved you. Da, da, da. He did. His son loved me. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. His son loved me. And I loved him. And he was such a sweet kid. But no, I'm not watching your son. I'm not watching yourself. First of all, I'm not. We are not in a relationship. I am I don't owe you that type of obligation. We're cool. Okay? We are cool. You could consider me a friend. But we not that, f I'm not friendly like that. Don't ever feel like you could cry, try to use me in that way because it's not happening. Okay, it's not going down. Now we're good, not, we're not with good y'all me. No, it's not going down. I said no, she said yes. Okay. I don't understand it, but she said, yeah. So next thing you know, it was like months down the line, I find out that they're like messing around. They not dating. He not, they not dating. They're just messing around. Girl, why? Why are you doing that after I done told you umpteen amount of times? He don't got shit going on, but you want to run up in there and you want to open up your leg. Good. What? Why would you do that? Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. The thing about it is, they're messing around, but she does not want to tell me that they're messing around. In a weird way, I felt like she didn't want me around anymore. Like, we were we were working together, okay? Like, I was working on my brand and my YouTube channel. He was working on his music or whatever he had going on. I'm not really sure. He had a lot of things going on. And um, I don't know what she did. And it's not my business. I don't know. I don't remember. But it, it felt like she didn't want me around anymore. Because it was like, honestly, he knew people. And he wasn't making any money. However, I had a 9-5. And I was still making it work. You know what I mean? So, whenever there was events, he would call me. He would let me know about it. He would introduce me to all these people. And I would go. So, I felt like maybe she felt some type of way about me because it's like she knows that he wants to be in a relationship with me and he told me that on numerous occasions that yo i like you like for like he told me that so many times how he liked me how he would want to be with me like how i would be such a great mom just different things that i just didn't care to hear it was just not for me because it, for me that's not the life I live that's not the life I want to live and he, what I want for myself he couldn't give it to me and he already knew that that was closed off for him like he was in the friend zone real bad and he was fighting his way to try to get out like he would try to invite me over like late nights and stuff let me tell you something this is what a good this is what a story is talking get juicy okay they are messing around i don't know how much they mess around but he done effed her okay she done gave him money washed his kids put food in his fridge from what i heard and seen okay one day he calls me and he's like you know try, you know talking to me regular trying to flirt but i'm shutting it down he has people at his house right there's like 
different different people over there couples whatever you know it's, it's supposed to be like a cute vibe so he he invites me over I just literally say like for what he was like oh there's mad couples here you know you ain't gonna leave me alone right you ain't gonna let me just like be, be here by myself yes I am why would I why would I not let you be there by yourself it's your house why would I this your house these your people you control the vibe if you don't want them there anymore you kick them out i don't know what else to say like it's just a no he was like oh let you know just just come over just come chill with me keep me company because everybody else got a person and i literally told him no i told him no one i had to get up early two no we are not on that i'm not doing that with you i already know what this is and I think you already know what it's not and don't try to play with me this is how this is how men literally try to play games with women and I feel like I always have to tell them stop falling for the traps I feel like at a certain age you have to be wise like stop falling for the traps sis. stop falling for the freaking okie doke okay like He's trying to invite me over. I told him no so many times. I told him no over and over and over and over and over again until he offered up. He was like, damn, you ain't want to come over. I just want to eat your pussy. I'm just like, excuse me? Let's stop. Let's stop. Did you just say you want to eat my kitty cat? So you saying you want to eat my kitty cat is a way for me to hop up in my car, hop in my car, drive over to you for that particular reason. It's still a no. It's I don't I don't care if you eat you eat the best. It's still a no. Let me tell you something. Broke dick is a dick you need to stay away from. Okay? I know why you got them kids. No, I do not want to be baby mother number four. It's a still a no. So, he offers that up to me. I still say no. He gets upset. I just hang up because this conversation is really not going nowhere. So, I just was like, you know, I got to go to sleep. Bye. So, come to find out. She found out. Mind you. I, I tried to warn her so many times about the situation. I literally tried to be a we weren't friends i'm just gonna say that we weren't friends however i was trying to be like on girl code kind of me and you are not friends we are not cool we we are not close we don't know each other like that but if the roles were reversed i would have wanted somebody to put me on the way i put her on that's how I thought about it in my mind. Even though me and this girl don't know each other like that, I can't say, oh, sis, da 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 I'm, I'm not her, you know, we're not cool, we're not that close. But I feel like just as a woman, I'm not trying to come to you as a woman like I was messing with your man, but I'm just trying to put you on to the man that you're getting involved with to let you know, like, this is not the man you need to be putting time and effort and, like, investment in because you are not gonna get no investment out of this situation and i felt like she was just making it seem like i was trying to like shit on her whole thing when i was not i was really just trying to put you on sis but that's what i be saying like sometimes girl there is no freaking girl code no such thing as real real girl code unless you and this girl are actually friends like that and i feel like it shouldn't always be like that because i see these other races of women they put each other on and you don't even gotta know her like that you see what i'm saying like when like older women try to put you on put younger women onto game and these younger girls feel like oh this old bitch hating on me da -da -da -da. she's not it's like it's more like been there done that I, I haven't been there with him, but I'm, I see what's going on. And I'm trying to let you know because it's like, I already said no. I already turned him down. You're just the new girl in the group because you don't know how he is. You don't know how he really get down. You don't know about all his issues and stuff with his baby mothers. I'm just trying to put you on. I'm just trying to be a good Samaritan. But she didn't take it, like, take it as that. Fast forward to now, she got a baby with him. She got a baby. 
she has a baby with this man and I feel sorry for her because it's something my mom told me that really stuck out to me when I found out about her pregnancy. She didn't even post any pregnancy pictures. She only posted that she gave birth and he was at the hospital holding the baby. And then I seen a picture of him and the baby talking about my world. I finally got a daughter. So I'm just like, yeah, he the baby daddy. He the baby daddy. Mm -hmm. And something stuck out to me when my mom said, my mom said that if you know about the situation between him and his previous baby mothers, why would you run up into that? Why are you going to run up and there with him? Because you think your pussy was better than the rest of the bitches, so he going to change for you. Nah, sis, is not giving that because he didn't even give you a title. Like, as far as a relationship, there was no real relationship. They were just messing around. So I assume he probably was just messing around with the other baby mothers. But you ain't heard that from me. So, now, she has a child with him, but she's the child. It's still a newborn and she's already complaining about this man how he's never around he's never there he don't help her out he don't give her shit and it's like you made your bed though you made your bed with this man but you have to lie in it now and it's not me trying to bash you it's not me trying to put you down it's me trying to say girl i told i was trying to put you on And it's like, instead of you, it's, it's instead of you, like, it, you knew he wasn't giving his other baby mothers nothing. And that he was in back and forth child support court with them. But you didn't care about that. That didn't matter to you. Goody gang out. Let me know in the comments what you think about this story because I think I said a mouthful. So, let me know. Let give girl give Goody some advice about the situation. Thank God I didn't have to like give so many details because I honestly feel really bad about the situation. I feel just that's why people. That's why women always say marry before you carry. And um, I don't think he would make a good husband anyway. But um, getting out.